Okay, after a few moments of attempting to do this, I'm recording my voiceover. I had this video done and everything was perfect. The audio was fine, video was fine. I went to upload it on YouTube and kabam, it all went to pieces. I don't know what happened, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm attempting to record a voiceover over the video, doing it again without doing it again. So basically, just miss me saying, hi, I'm Alike, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is about a shopping haul I did for designer items at some outlet stores in Chicago. So this very first shoe you see is a shoe by Vince. It is a suede pointed toe pump. And I normally wouldn't pick up something like this because I like a lot of toe cleavage. And this one seems like it's covering the toe cleavage. Oh, let's see. Okay, and the price is $109.97. I don't know what the original price was, but that's what it was marked down to. And the way that the outlets were working at the time, it was an additional something off of the like red tag price, the sale price, the lowest marked price. So it may have been like an additional 50% off. Um, probably as low as 30% off and as high as 90. So between Saks Fifth Avenue and the Neiman Marcus outlets, which were the two I was going to, that those shoes were somewhere between an additional 30 or up to 80% off that red price, which was like 109. So I'd say a good deal. And the shoes were really cute. They are comfortable. I have not worn them yet, <laughs> um, but they looked really good on my feet. Okay, the second pair of shoes, love totally loving these shoes. They're by John, uh, I can never say his right name all the way right, John Batista Valley. And their suede platform, you can see what they look like here, but really pretty. They gave me Rachel Zoe vibes, which was why I was so into them. Well, I don't know if that's the only reason, but I like them. And that's the vibe they gave me. Yeah, they're scrumptious. I love them. Let's see if I can give you guys the price. Nope, I didn't look up at the price. But while I'm thinking of it, I know that I am a size A, eight and a half in shoes. I think when I'm a closed toe shoe, I try and get an eight and a half. It's an open toe shoe because I have a really slender foot. I So I am continuing recording. My I'm still learning. Things are getting messed up. It stopped when I was... <laughs> trying to figure something out. Anyway, on to our next shoe. Charlotte Olympia is this beautiful golden platform heel wedge. No, it's not a wedge. Heel sandal uh, with the knot a bow, or not a bow, but the knot in the front and the ankle wrap. Really, 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 really dope. I think this also gave me like Rachel Zoe vibes. And I'm trying to look at the price. I can't remember. But again, I got it at a really great discount. Also, just to let you guys know that whatever I have and what I'm showing, I have the details listed in the description box below. So on to these next um, items. This is a pair of frame denim pants that I got and these were super super cheap I remember that I got them maybe for like $11 they're probably marked down to like 20 and then like another 50% off and I have kind of been into the whole drop crotch harem style pant for a while I thought it looked really good on my frame um, tapered little leg at the bottom and then kind of baggy around the hip and waist area I like that it had the drawstring Olive is another one of my favorite colors. So that's why I got that pair. And it was by Frame, F-R-A-M-E. Sorry for the list, but I also have my retainers in. So I sound a little bit different than when this video first started. And while we're on it, I'm going to let you know what I'm wearing. It is a Diane von Furstenberg split mock neck three-quarter sleeve print wrap print blouse and that is from years ago it's pretty old and underneath it I just have on a nude camisole so I also have that stuff linked below as well what do we have next what is going on oh 
Oh, yes. Okay, for some reason, I cannot remember the designer of this dress. And right now, all my spring and summer stuff is packed up, so I don't even have access to it to tell you guys the designer. And I look high and low. I cannot remember the designer. <sighs> I'm so sorry. However, was it Alexander Wang? I don't think it's Alexander Wang. Kind of gives me Alexander Wang vibes, but it's as you can see a color block dress. It's sleeveless. It looks amazing on. I really love it. The hem is kind of asymmetrical. It comes to like midi length on me. I'm five eight almost. I'm five seven and three quarters, but I claim five eight because that's closer to five eight than five seven, isn't it? And so I'm just showing the hem line here. It's so good. I'm like, it's so good. It looks so good on. And then the highlight of the dress is that it has pockets. You guys, I am a fiend for a dress with pockets. You give me a dress with pockets, I'm buying it. I probably won't even care what it looks like. That's maybe a slight exaggeration. But any dress with pockets, I'm there for it. I am here for it. Ah, oh, it gives me so much life. I love it. And what else did I love? Oh, the black part of the dress, only on the top. The black part on the bottom is not, but the black part on the top and even around the collar is black leather. And the rest of the fabric of the dress is a blend of some sort. Another thing that I love about dresses typically is when pattern and whatever is on the front of the dress kind of continues to the back. I don't like when a dress has all this design on the front and then there's like a paneling down the side or like the seam and then the back of the dress, nothing from the front continues to the back. I do not like that. So I was kind of describing that there and I like that some of the bottom of the design of the dress continued onto the back. So I felt okay with that purchase. I think I got it for less than a hundred dollars. It was marked down. Okay, yes, I'm showing the price. Um, $159.97. I don't know what it was marked down from, but I got an additional off the $160. So it was even cheaper than that. Could have been like 80, 50 to 80 percent off. I know definitely more than 30 percent off. This next dress is. Did I remember the designer of this dress? Did I write that down? No. But, and it was a designer I'm not familiar with, and probably you wouldn't be either. Not because you are not fashion savvy, but it's just not like a well-known brand. And it is a really pretty dress. I really love it. It's form-fitting. It's sleeveless, as you can see. I love the applique detail. Around the top, I think it kind of comes down a little bit. This is also like a midi style dress, but it's more form fitting than the color black one. I love that it has this infinity almost like zipper. So the zipper goes all the way from the top of the dress down to the bottom. And you can pretty much zip it up as high as you would like or as low. I will not do it at all. But if you dare, you're definitely able to have uh, create your own kind of length of a slit. And it almost kind of looks like a neoprene fabric, which is kind of like that scuba diving um, wet bodysuit kind of fabric, but it's not. I know it's a lot lighter than that. I'm pointing out the princess seaming of the dress so that it really conforms to your body. And I said I think it's midi length. I don't remember the price. It was something similar to, um, I'm looking at it here, but I don't show it on camera, but it was something similar to the previous dress, like maybe 160 and then something marked off of that, maybe even less than the 160. What do we have next? Okay, this I remember is Elizabeth and James. I think you can kind of see the label on camera short sleeve you can see that there is a cutout around uh, around the bodice exposed center seam back zipper and it also has an asymmetrical hem 
uh, at the bottom. You can kind of see, I think I'll show it. It's a little overlay. Again, I got this for pretty inexpensive. I think it was marked down at like $90 and then an additional off the 90. I think it started, I do remember this dress because I recently have posted it on my Poshmark site, which I, you can find me on Poshmark under Dress Me Alike or Dress Me Alike. And see, there is the hem. So it kind of has a faux overlay, but it's seen together. So it's not like an open flap. Anyway, it was initially like $365 marked down to like $89 and then I think like an additional off of $89. And it's a, it was a mini dress. Okay, this next dress is, I want to say Christopher Kane. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I was so in love with this, in love with this dress. So it, that black part that you, you see is just kind of like a black sleeveless Sleeveless, is, there's another word I'm trying to say, stretch knit uh, material, and then, so that's the main dress, and then all of the pink, purple, and snake skin paneling is all Velcro, so that right there, that black part I was touching, that goes all the way to the bottom, again, another midi length dress, so it comes down to like my mid shin area, and it's like a tube top dress, but there's another name for tube tops, and I can't think of it. But a tube dress, a black, um, tight, goes all the way down. Okay, now I'm focusing on the paneling. So all of those pink panels are Velcro, and you just basically like, it's almost like a mummy bandage. And you just <laughs> mummy yourself into the dress. You can make it as tight as you like and accentuate your waist if you have a really small waist. But it's a really cool dress, I thought. I ended up wearing it to a wedding. I didn't know where I was going to wear it when I bought it. I just had, felt like I had to have it. I don't remember the initial price, but it was one of the cheaper dresses. It was marked down to maybe $80 and then an additional off the $80, which is still oh, yeah, be very awesome. It was originally $3,500. Celine. Celine. It was marked down to $1,750. And you know us. So this was, our last call is now closed. Um, it was also at the same mall with the Saks outlet. Before they closed, I think they went up to either a 80% off or 90% off sale. And, oh, and so it was marked down to 1,750. It was at an additional 80% off and then an additional 20 or additional 70 plus an additional 30, something like that. Right, so it came up to a couple hundred dollars. Oh. So you probably want to see the dress. Okay, this is the back. This is a little triangle cut out, actually. That's the back of the dress. This is the front. So you're not going to get a total appreciation of it. Okay, so there's these little tabs on the dress, right? You're like, what is that? They, you tie it. There's one around right below the waist. And you tie it like so. And it's just so pretty. And then it's a long, pretty long dress. So this comes down to my ankles. And you see those two pieces of fabric hanging at the bottom. They're the same as these ones up here. So two little tabs. And you can leave them undone if you want. Um, not the top one because that would look weird. But the bottom ones you can kind of leave if you want. It just looks like you have a big slit. Um, so here's the, the slit probably starts around the mid, lower thigh area, mid thigh, and goes all the way down. Ugh. And like I said, you can either leave it open or you can um, tie the two, where are they? 
you can tie the two pieces together. So it doesn't give you a lot of walking space. You have to kind of walk like a geisha girl. Not that bad, but um, you're going to take smaller steps um, quickly. Or you, like I said, you could leave the bottom part untied and you have your complete gate back. I love this dress. Ooh, I could eat it. So that was actually from last year, like at the end of the season. Um, okay, guys, and I'm back with the voiceover. I am tragically sorry. <laughs> I thought that the volume had completely come back and apparently it went out again. I'm not even sure what I'm telling you guys here, but eventually we're going to move on to the next product. And what is it? Shoes. Okay. Seagrass and Morrison. These are my pilgrim shoes. My pilgrim booties. Patent leather, black, square toe, and it's a rounded square toe which is a little bit better for me. I'm not completely feeling the whole square toe, box toe look at all. I just don't like it. But this was almost borderline almond shape. It definitely has a squarish, you know, silhouette, but almost to the point of being an almond. So I was okay with it and it looked good on my foot. I like it. It's really skinny ankles. So the sock-like part shaft around the ankle worked from my, my leg. The boots, oh, I remember they were, I think, over $200. As I was checking out, I asked the sales associate, I think this was at the Saks Fifth Avenue outlet, if they were having any specials going on or coming up for shoes. And she was saying currently at that time they were doing a buy one, get one 50% off. So instead of just buying that one pair, your girl had to go back and capitalize on the deal. And instead of buying one shoe or two shoes, I ended up with four, which you are about to see. <laughs> so the next pair is... flat okay it is those are by who was by they were by Halston Halston Heritage so it's a rose gold open toe mule and just a slight I mean you see the slightest amount of a heel so not completely flat it has a little bit of a lift in the back I'll call it a lift because that's does not really count as a heel but they're not completely flat either, which is why I like them. Your girl is a sucker for a heel. A stiletto is fine, but I can't always rock stilettos, so I'm trying to change it up a little bit. And that's what put me into the slides. They were a decent price. I can't remember the exact price. I would say definitely under $90 with, with uh, the 50% off or something like that. And let's see. There's someone that those shoes remind me of, and I cannot think of her name, but she is a intimate apparel designer. If I can think of her name, I'll tell you. Kind of all of the shoes, I, not all of them, these two kind of reminded me of her. So this is another Seagrass and Morrison pair of shoes. And again, the toe box comes up really high on the shoe. And typically, I like having my exposed toe cleavage. These cover it up. But it's looked really good on my foot still. And I like that the heel to me is what I would call an abbreviated heel. It's not super high, even though it looks like it's higher than three inches. But for me, I can walk all day in a heel like that. It's not going to bother me unless there's something going on inside of the shoe and I'm getting a blister or something. But the actual height is completely fine. Not super challenging for me don't remember the price of these shoes either. I'm so sorry. And I think I need to have those listed. I don't think I looked for those in the description box. I don't think I have them listed, so I'm going to have to add those. And the next pair are some trainers. 
Is that the British called? Trainers. Train. I can't say it. Trainers. Trainers. I got a. I got a pair of trainers. Oh my gosh, my British accent is failing me. I'm so sorry. Okay, I got sneakers. And I love these sneakers. They're literally pillows on my feet. They're by Kim of Cole. And I got them when the whole sneaker trend with dresses was really popular. And this video was shot in 2018, just FYI. I loved that they were completely nondescript. I loved that they were almost the exact color of my skin tone. Which, so with anything, it's going to elongate my leg. And... I liked that they were a little, and I mean, this has nothing to do with me wearing heels and stuff. I like that it had a good amount of lift, I guess, underneath like the outer sole of the shoe. And, but once you put your foot in the shoe, I can't even describe to you how comfortable these shoes are. And I don't even think Kim of Cole is still doing them. They are the second brand or something called soul s-o-u-l i believe and i it took me forever to try and find something similar online right now what three years later but i wish they would come back with something like this these shoes were chemical reaction i think soul just i can't even tell you how comfortable they were or are I still have them? I still wear them. They just recently got a little bit damaged over like was it Memorial Day weekend? No, Fourth of July weekend. It rained and I got a little bit of water damage on the toe. And I didn't completely do the leather protectant, but I cleaned them when I got home, so they're okay. I can probably get away with wearing them for maybe another year, and then I'm probably gonna have to get rid of them. But those shoes, ugh. I guess I should have bought more than one. Gentle Souls, Kim of Cole, Gentle Souls. Okay, I gotta write that down. Gentle Souls, not just Soul. Maybe that'll help me find them. Okay, what is next? Next is Akira. So I'm no longer at the outlets with these two, these next two items. I went to Akira, and I'm still in the shopping mood, obviously. This first item is a, I'm calling it lame material. I don't know exactly. I'm not like a material savant, so I don't know all my materials that well, but it, gives, it looks like lame to me. And it's a halter type disco pantsuit pants jumper and <clears throat> it's supposed to have a belt but the belt was lost I think at the store and so which is fine you can just put your own belt with it it has the oh my goodness every time I'm trying to think of the word scrunchy elasticized elastic excuse me elastic ankle and it looks really cute on. The slits go really high on the leg, so you have to be very strategic about what you're wearing underneath. But it, overall, just a really cute, sexy jumper. And then the next item is a green wrap dress from Akira. And really pretty on. It's, it's like a high-low style, so when you wrap the dress, the front comes up above your knee has a ruffled hem and then the back it cascades down to about your ankle in the back and then the sleeve area at the top has the ruffle on it as well and which is good for me because I am not super well endowed on top so I always need a little extra detailing at the top to kind of create my whole hourglass type of body shape and then cinched in waist, which obviously a wrap dress does. So really flattering. And both of those items are probably $20. Not expensive. The dress may have been a little bit more. I know the jumper was more than 20 Maybe 20 Maybe 19 Something like that. And the next pair of shoes I was in love with. I've seen them recently and they're like 
Mm. I don't know if I love him as much as I used to. Have I won them? No. <laughs> Am I going to have to sell them? Maybe. But I'm going to try and wear them at least once before I, I sell them. These are Giuseppe Zanotti. It's a Noti. Another designer. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. And they were, I want to say, like $300. And they were definitely marked down. I can't remember. Well, they were marked down to the 300 I can't remember if we got like an additional off. So it may have been like high two still, but they were definitely on the more expensive side. But my husband loved them. And I also love them. So they are win-win for the both of us. Sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm doing today. Looking at something. I wanted to show that those were genuinely authentic Giuseppe shoes. <laughs> and of course, I didn't show the price. I don't know. Anyway, these were another shoe brand that I'm not as familiar with. And they were not super cheap. I'm going to tell you the brand in a second. And they were not super expensive either. They were, I don't know, maybe close to 200 Fabrizio BT. Take a bow is the name of the style name of the shoe. And I thought they were unique and, you know, feminine with the bow. And I like this whole combination of shooties for me, like not quite a shoe, not quite a boot. I liked it. It was, they're different. You don't see anything like that. That's one thing about me. Oh, let's see. They were initially $2,000. I don't know. Is that what that said? $1,995? I have a hard time believing that's how much they were originally. If anyone wants to pause the video and take a look at what that was, I, I couldn't make it out. But... Like I said, I think I got them close to about 200 maybe a little bit under $200, one something. And is that it? I am done. I'm done. 